epic amount of information, in my opinion, about Google Drive, folder structures for your construction company, Google admin panel there for a little bit. There's so much good details in here that I wanted to share on YouTube again. I'm not always gonna do this because there's gotta be some exclusivity, you know, for the people actually in Automation Blueprint. I hope you get a lot out of this call, enjoy, and if you want to join Automation Blueprint, have us help you scale and automate your construction company so it runs on autopilot. You don't have to be there in the weeds. You're not gonna be the estimator. You're not gonna be the project manager. You're not gonna be doing any admin work. You're just gonna have a COO that you check in with weekly and your business is gonna run on autopilot. And so but there's a framework for it. It's called the Automation Blueprint. So go to jessielane.com and check it out and enjoy the Zoom recording and we'll see you in the next video. I mean, there's, there's Microsoft, there's Google, there's Apple products as far as, you know, drives and mail and sheets and docs and all those things. And everyone has their little suite. I personally, I think Google's really great. Google Drive, Google Mail, which is Gmail, Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides. But then there's, you know, Apple, you guys aren't Apple people anyway, so, but they have their, you know, different doc, like the doc thing called pages. I don't use, I think it's bull crap. They have numbers, which is their Excel thing, which I don't use either. I think it's bull crap, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but then there's the Microsoft stuff with Excel and Word but Beam. there's Google Docs and Sheets. And so there's kind of this balance, so there's this dance that I play between when to use an Excel spreadsheet and when to use a Google Sheet, or yeah, yeah Microsoft Excel or a Google Sheet. But there's always also a dance of when to use a Microsoft Word document versus a Google Doc. So uh, Google is a lot more, it uh, has a lot more shareability so it just has a better drive also like i'm sure microsoft has i don't know if it's teams or what I don't, what do they use it's oh teams. OneDrive. one drive i think they have yeah. one drive and, and a lot of people are on that and i love it they like teams and then you know awkward because i'm using zoom i don't i used to use google meet so like not everything's under one <clears throat> main thing but anyway so that that's an overview of kind of you know what's out there and what's uh, available but how many of you use like all oh. what all of them use google drive now because i persuaded them all to do it okay okay <laughs> but so phase two <laughs> look at sean's face <laughs> yeah so phase two the question i was going to ask is how many of you guys use a file stream a google drive file stream so the documents and folders and files are streamed to your Windows or Mac. No. Nope. Do that. Not even you how to do it. Sean uses it. Sean's got his hand raised. Did you say are you, Jose? Are you talking about are you talking about I'm sorry. Go ahead. Are you talking about them going from Microsoft to um no. to it or so um I wonder if I could do a whiteboard. Do you guys can you guys see this? Yeah. That's yeah. I don't uh, I don't use this. I've never really used this. So pen, I guess. Okay, so Google, right? <clears throat> For example, you have Drive. So Google Drive is a product of Google, right? And what this can do is I'm going to kind of zoom out i don't know if that zooms out for you guys but it's going to stream things to your computer i'll just say pc like personal computer can you guys all see my entire graphic here we can zoom out individually okay yeah that's weird i can't zoom out for oh, you yeah. or yep, no, we're good. Yep. okay um anyway so <clears throat> So it's going to stream stuff from Drive to your PC. So you're going to have all your files. So let's say if you delete, can you guys see this box I'm scribbling? Yep. If you guys delete a file here, it's going to it's going to also delete that file within Google Drive. And so that's what I'd love for you guys to get set up. Just Google, like Google search, Google Drive file stream. So like this is an example of, I, I have a Mac. I know a lot of, I'm going to move you, you guys beautiful faces over here so I can see them as well. There we go. 
right there. Very nice. Okay. So I have a Mac, but it doesn't matter ultimately for Google Drive file stream. You guys want to set up. Sorry, I'm, I'm moving you guys around and talking at the same time. The file stream. So this is going to pull over. For example, remember I talked about numbers, like a numbering system to keep everything kind of in order. Number one for me, you guys could do whatever you want. But I'm going to get a throat coat here. But I like to start number one with leads. And you can see I'm in my JLink construction Google Drive right here. I also have JLink properties. It's like the same way, but I'm not doing any properties right now, but that's just there under this, this Google account. See the Google accounts pop up over here. <clears throat> so I also have Jesse at jessielane.com and I have like my personal one. That's like very private, like my stuff, like my birth certificate, like <laughs> different things. But Jesse at jlane.com is where I host a folder called one dot space J lane construction. And I share that folder with my team. Does that make sense so far? And then yeah, it's not like groundbreaking or anything, but I'm just showing how I have it set up. Then number one, as a subfolder mm -hmm. is um, leads. So then you can have your Google sheets. Now the beautiful thing about Google is Google drive plays really nice with Google sheets. So for me to open this Google sheet, I'd have to double click it and it's going to open. Does anyone have any guesses what it would, what it would do if I click that double click it? Google sheets. What program would this open if I click that? God, it's G sheet though. It's not an XLX X. Exactly. So what so, would it, what would it open? I mean, do you have it set up to set up Excel? I mean, to open Excel? Nope. Okay. Want me to tell you? It'll so open your browser. It would open go Google Chrome. Sheet. Google Chrome. Okay. So Chrome is like, you know, there's Internet Explorer, there's Safari. Apple has Safari. Remember I talked about all these different software companies, or not software companies, but big tech companies. There's Apple, there's Microsoft, there's Google. So Apple has Safari. Microsoft has Internet Explorer. Is that what it's called for them? Their web browser. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Google has Chrome. So you so the Google Sheet will open in Google Chrome. So like this, I'll double click it. Here's my Chrome. And here's all my I'm gonna click command minus a couple of times. These are all the leads. You guys can copy and paste these and reach out and steal them from me. <laughs> Does that make sense? So I, I close that. <clears throat> Go ahead, Ronnie. Did you have a question? Oh, so yeah. Does that make sense? It, it just Google Sheets. So same with the Google Doc. For example, number two, qualifying. We have a graveyard for things that meh didn't really work out. But these are ones and probably some of these could be moved to the graveyard. I need to have Clay kind of manage that a little better. But these are things that we're still kind of kicking around like elements yoga. You know, we want to maybe qualify them in to be estimating or design phase. So the way the way you've got this set up, like say the 1418 Monticello Road, they say, well, we're not going to do it. You can put it in the graveyard, yeah. but it's it's something that you could pull back out if they call back and say, hey, we decided we're going to go ahead and move forward with yeah. it. So you still got all the information, but it's just not showing all the time. Exactly. You just don't want to delete it. You want to make a folder for it. And now you might notice, how did I get qualifying graveyard to always be at the top? Any guesses? The dashes. Yeah. Now the dash at the end is optional. I just do that because I'm particular. <laughs> <laughs> but if you just add a dash, it's the same as numbers. It's going to it's going to show up at the top. So um, why is there nothing? in design phase. It's already been sent to estimating or mm -hmm. determining you didn't use it. Exactly. There's a few in the graveyard, but the purpose of design phase is so we move it to op uh, either estimating or open projects. I mean, yeah, it would go to estimating. But um, so under estimating, I have a graveyard and I've 
even broken this down into years. So I can go back and see with Dirty Dough, the proposal, and there's my estimate. And I can click it, it's a, it's a Google Sheet. Here it is. This is a small guy. But um, everything's at my fingertips. I hit left arrow a bunch of times. So, helpful so far? Yes, sir. Yeah, cool. Um, and you guys will have this recording. You can watch it 1,700 times if you want. So, so who in your organization is starting from like number one leads, moving things back and forth to qualifying, to design, to estimating, to mm. open projects? So we have who's, 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 who's well, a lead on it. Yeah, that's a good question. We have our office manager. We like to have like a single point person, right, Angel? Yes. <clears throat> like move it. So do you want to talk on that? That's what I was talking about earlier, Angel. Asking. Yeah. Yeah. So Jesse, if you want me. Yeah. So pretty much Crystal, our office manager, is the the master of all of this. Um, we have set up most of our processes to um, referring back to her actually doing moving things just because she checks them anyways as part of her process and she's so thorough. Um, <clears throat> there's a few times like estimating might open up some folders and things like that that are built into the process, but you should have one point of contact that does most all your moving and things like that. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. look, so let's say the estimator gets done with it. Would he send a message to her and have her move it? Or yeah, usually that's how we do it. Just and then you know she she keeps it clean that way and ensures that all the correct documents are in there. Yeah. So once the estimator moves it, it it's it's part of our our um, handoff process to our um, project manager, and it's crucial to be all the right documents in there. So that's that's we'll, we'll go through that process portion, Brian. But yeah. yeah. And note notice a big note here, number thirteen. We have copy the subfolders. <laughs> so people will just go like this, click command C. Old people do this, they right click and they go and they try to find copy. <laughs> That's what Ron does. And I'm like, Ron, you just hit command C and you're done. <laughs> you don't have to like use your brain and your and your hand and your dexterity skills to try to find the word copy. Then you click the wrong <laughs> one. You're like, oh, I just deleted everything. No, just hit command C, it's right here. Thumb, first finger, boom. Hey, Jesse, do me a favor, and I know they can go back and watch this, but this particular right here, all of these folders is a screenshot that I would like everybody to have. Mm -hmm. um, can we like drop it in Slack or drop it in chat or something? Yeah. Okay. And I'm just writing them all down. Yeah, I saw you writing them, Sean, fast and furious. <laughs> and these are these are the particular folders that when I'm when I'm going through 100 miles an hour with you guys, go and drop it in this folder, drop it in that. This this will be the cadence of setting everything up for you guys. Mm -hmm. So there it is, boom, right in right in Slack. I got a cool question. Mm -hmm. Why design build number 15? Oh yeah, so I was gonna mention some of these things are like literally clay one in here. It's bull crap. Don't do this. <laughs> um, clay was like, okay. I don't know, I'm gonna create so. I kind of lose a little bit of control sometimes. No, no, nothing, no one's perfect, but like this is Mark. This should not be here. This is a great. No. This is a great example for, like, ugh, you know, like, ugh, come on, guys. Yeah, that shouldn't be there. This shouldn't be here. Yeah. And Clay made this random folder, and then he tried to follow the order thing, but I didn't try to change it before the meeting. I'm just like, I'm just gonna show him. Like, look, my people, they don't get it sometimes either. They're like, where do I put these folders? And so they just they just create stuff. I'm like, but we've created a whole process, which I could probably pull up and show you like on on our internal website. Like this is the where everything goes. But anyway, so I'm gonna do that. Where do you put your templates? So in JLane internal. Uh, templates for what? Like SA, uh, spreadsheet, all that stuff. Like intake, like your intake form, like is that just in the leads or? So we have a C-suite folder that I really can't share because it's like employee files and work, work, workers comp stuff, insurance stuff, banking statements, all my taxes. Oh, here's Grover. Um, all my taxes. So I only share that C-suite folder with 
Ron and you know Angel, like very just select people. So I have a templates folder within that that I just host all the updated templates with the date. So I'll say proposal template and then a space and I'll be like 8-19-23 or whatever. And then it's like, oh, now it's 321-24. I'll just give it the same exact uh, file name, but just I'll have a different date. And so I could reference each update. I can go back to previous updates, but I could take the most recent update and put that in my internal systems website. Yeah. 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 And so again, Sean, to your point, inside the internal systems website, all the templates live in there. They live in his Google Drive, but they'll live in there for you. So they live in the so Google that, Drive for the management team, but they live in the mm -hmm. internal systems for your staff. For your staff. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And, and that is not something that is shared with everyone. So on your Google Drive, is it attached to a different email address then for the Google Drive? Or like, how do you differentiate that? Or you just have both in the same thing and you just only share one to a certain group of people and share one to the other? Can you say that one more time? I, I didn't catch the first part. Sorry. Yeah. So, so like, you know, you, you got one email, right? Jesse at jlane.com, right? Yeah. For, for the construction company. Yeah, and yeah. so under that, you would have, you would see the, J Lane construction folder that you're sharing with your whole team. Right. And then un is it, is it two? Is it does the, the, the folder that's right there? Is that the C-suite folder so that I kind of know how I'm setting mine up in my own drive? No, that's J Lane properties. <laughs> There's a, I know what he's asking. Yes. He just gives permission to the people that he wants. So nobody else can see it. So the C-suite folder, this yeah. is actually a really big point. And Sean's asking a really, really fantastic question. Super good question. Yeah. Um, the C-suite folder is under my personal email address. Oh, you did it that way, Jesse. Okay. That's my bad. That's my bad. Yeah. Yep. So, and, and I don't know how anyone would even know this. I haven't even told you, Angel. I mean, it just, you know, I didn't need to, but yeah. long story short, I had this bizarre thing happen where I was thinking that everything in my drive, jesse at jlane.com, no one could find. So I, I made, I had all my personal video journals and all my birth certificates and all my, my dog's vet records and, 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 and the C-suite folder, my taxes. And what happened was bizarre, but in Google, people can search. They can't go and find cause they don't have access to the folder, but they can, if they're typing, all my files were popping up for everybody. If they type Jake's vet records, it would, it would show because technically it's under jlane.com domain and Google suite. So I was like, whoa, I literally made a whole portal and moved everything all the way over to a privated personal Google drive thing that literally no one has access to unless I add them to the, a folder. So like mm -hmm. everything's just naturally private or, or you know, yeah. <laughs> So the C-suite <laughs> folder is in my personal private situation and I just share it with one person. So awesome. anyway, I know it's bizarre and weird, but, but that's what it is. That's a weird one. Maybe so it's... HR is not one that you would sanction. <laughs> yeah. I don't know the HR. I don't know who created that to be honest. We have an HR thing like in our C-suite folder. Our C-suite folder is like a whole nother world, but I don't, I haven't even looked at it before this meeting, so I can't necessarily share it, but employee files, all that stuff. But once you're, okay, going back to the thing. So estimating, and then they just move it over to, don't, don't copy and paste, move, move these folders, the project, move it through the flow. Don't copy and paste. So after open projects, it goes to completed projects and create, you know, year folders, keep everything super clean in folders. You might notice there's this job form handover thing. Um, this, <clears throat> this is something you guys probably don't even have to mess with because the software is going to be amazing. All your handovers will just live in the software but I was, I was playing around with this, so I, I probably won't waste your time, but it would just automatically come over here into a PDF, but you'll just have all this into in a table format in the software. So don't let it trip you up. 
Okay, well, who has questions? Like insurance, we have all of like, so anyone that needs to send a, a, a workers comp, a W-9, uh, my contractor's license, you can grab it from this folder. You can see this cloud. You see how it's blurry and this one's not? The cloud means it doesn't take up room on your hard drive. If I was to click the space bar, watch this. See how it opens and it's beautiful and now there's no cloud. See how it's clear? Does that, does that, does that make sense? Yes. It's, it's hosting the file in Google Drive. Let me move, let me move you guys, your, your beautiful faces here. Um, I know you can't see me moving that, but anyway, this. This is the icon that I have streaming to Google Drive. Can you guys see this drop down? Yes. Yeah. So I have the, the three awesome. Yeah, the three different accounts that I have, you know, in Google Drive, which are which they show up here as like hard drives. Makes sense. And I just click my drive, Jalen Construction. Let me move you guys up here again. Oh no, sorry, I'm playing with your faces. <laughs> there we go. Does that make sense? Got another question for you. Yeah. Apparently this is a more common problem than I thought it would have been. We tried all kinds of stuff. My project manager has been struggling to get the Google Drive to actually pop up on, well, so so it's, it's popping up on the left where the locations are. And then he goes to my drive or shared drives and they're empty. <clears throat> Even though I've shared it with him and he can find it on, like if he goes to Google okay. Drive. Here's the answer. You need to go into his shared drive on Google Chrome and click add a shortcut to my drive. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so when, so I created these folders and so they pop up in my drive automatically because I own them. But you own those and he doesn't and that's why he doesn't see them, but they're gonna show up in his shared with me, not, sorry, not shared drives. He's, it's gonna show up in shared with me in the Google Drive on Chrome. Does that make sense for everybody? I wanna make sure everyone gets that. Yeah. Because th this kind of stuff is so foundational and it's so crucial. Because if you don't know how to uh, send uh, drawings to subs and they're all requesting access because you didn't give them the right permissions. For example, let's do that. Before I move on, does everyone understand the share <clears throat> with me thing? I just wanna ask about uh... Let's say I'm drawing the estimate. So I have the estimating sheet open and I on the under the estimating folder mm -hmm. or in there. And end up and then I have the proposal there as well. Once I send that proposal, uh or once I get the job, I move it to uh open project, let's say, but I move everything. I don't leave uh you move it estimating from here. sheet yeah, you under move it the from, from here and move. See my mouse? Mm -hmm. You would literally click and drag this and just drop it under open projects. Oh, okay. Yeah. And it, so if you move folders, everything beneath it or within the folder moves with it. Entirely. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. So that, that was another great question, Jose. Mm hmm. Now, my question as far as estimating is it on a moment. Is there some some way in there that you know? Okay, this estimate is complete or incomplete to know when it actually goes. Because I would assume it goes to open projects once a contract is signed. Yeah, yeah. So how how would you know which ones are in estimating or maybe ones that are completed but haven't necessarily been approved? And then there's other estimates in there that are still in progress. Yeah. Good communication. <laughs> everyone, it's not like everyone's not talking to each other. So it's like, yeah. oh, ding, ding, yeah. ding, bell goes off. Hey, we just got Grow Healthy contract signed. Like we're all excited. We're celebrating. Hey, Crystal, go move that to open projects. Yeah, Maybe. it's it's just really good communication and excitement mm -hmm. that we got a contract signed. And so that's kind of the trigger. <clears throat> so, yeah. yep. Yeah. So cool. Any other questions before I touch on sharing files and stuff? Also, this Google Drive thing is when 
what I'm seeing here is okay, now I'm getting jobs like over 200k, over 500k, you know, so I'm doing fewer projects a year. I can do them on Google Drive. If I'm doing 80 jobs a year, my best way is to get a app like job thread that or the app that you're coming up with, uh, Jesse, mm -hmm. that is going to like somebody approved the estimate is going to move to approve automatically within them. If I'm doing a bunch of $10,000 jobs. This, I, Jesse, maybe explain the difference as to this and then the sequence in like a, uh, an, a, a third party, because I'm, I'm wondering if he realizes the diff the reason we use this versus the third party. Well, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, this strictly is for internal sharing for your team as far as being able to have easy access. And then, you know, we do share with subs and stuff like that. But this is your um, your constant, you know, what's going on so the team, everybody can get into it and, and always see. Your third party that you're talking about is more for the actual, you know, project and moving it along. So I think what you're asking is, yeah, I think what you're asking is you can move from estimate, you know, to completed in the third party. You still want to do that, but this is just the shell that house all your documents. So everybody has access to it. It's just quick and easy and you can share very easily. How I've Does always, how no, I've always thought of it is builder trend, job trend, Procore, blah, blah, blah is client facing. So it, I, yeah. I generally say if you want stuff to live in there, just the client might see it if you forget to add that permission button. Yeah. Google Drive is strictly internal unless internal. you do decide to share it, your drawings to subs or et cetera. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 I think, uh, yeah, we'll see what my software is capable of going into like 2025 as far as taking over job tread and, and making, I do have a documents section and that but we'll we'll get to that um i might even share the software with you guys next week <laughs> i don't want to promise anything but just do it yeah there, there's a maybe there uh we're getting really close i just made some final notes uh today so if they can do the final notes then i'll share it um all right so let's say let's talk about drawings um i'm just kind of going into a random job here but so okay now if i want to disperse these drawings to subs what do I do? Do I go open an email and, and email each one of these to them? Click and drag, right? Well, no, right. because yeah. it, even if I went like this and drug it all into it, it's probably going to bottom out my email provider. It's not going to be able to send more than 25 megabytes or whatever the limit is. So what I want to do is right click and click share with Google Drive. Okay, it's going to pop up this window. Now, what you want to do is say anyone with the link can view. It's going to have your company name or it's restricted. For example, my personal Gmail situation is restricted automatically. All the files are unless I do go ahead and say, yeah, anyone with the link can view this folder and anything within the folder. Then if I say that or just a file, files go within folders. Obviously, we know that. So I'm going to click anyone with the link and it's updating is an editor. No, I'm gonna just, just be able to view. I don't want them to mess everything up. Then I'm gonna click copy link. Then I'm gonna click done. Now I've copied this folder only. They're not gonna see MEP, security, and specs. If I want them to see all this, what do I do? Go to the next file back. Yep. So you see how it highlighted that? So I'm gonna click away, click it again. But um, because then I would be changing the, the name of it by accident. But I'm gonna exactly so I'm gonna click this. I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna click uh, share with Google Drive. Okay, I had to move it over here. Then if I was to just copy the link and send it to him, does anyone know what would happen? All the files will go. They could adjust. They could make changes to it. Well, no, because it says J Lane Construction. See this little company logo situation like your organization dealio yeah. they literally are going to have to request access from you who who here has ever either gotten a google drive link or shared it and there's a problem with them being able to open it yeah this is the answer to that click here and just say anyone with the link and then wait for it to load not an editor but a viewer and then copy the link 
boom, link copied. Then I can go into my email or I could text it to someone. I could Slack it to someone. I could do whatever I want with this link. I can make, I could literally make this link a button in my internal website. So they click the button and it brings them to the Google Drive folder. You guys can get super creative with, with how you'd want to do stuff like that. To me, this, this changed my, my life when it came to sharing files and, and also not doing stuff within Google Chrome that you shouldn't. One example, two examples are Microsoft stuff, Word and Excel. Excel is a little bit better because it kind of pulls open a Google Sheet editor. But if you open, I don't know if anyone here has tried to open a Word file in Google Chrome and it butchers it. If I opened my, because Google Docs can't do, remember we're talking Word and Docs, right? That's Microsoft and Google as far as the word processor tool. So if, if you're in Google Chrome, like Google Drive and Google Chrome, and you open a Google Doc, everything's gonna be great. But if I open a Word file that has a bunch of graphics on it, let me give you guys kind of a, a visual of what I'm even trying to say. So for example, see how this is docx? This is our proposal. So like, look at this. I hit space bar to quick view on a Mac. This is what our proposal looks like. You see all these like graphics and about our company and stuff like this. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna Dude. put space again to close that. What I want to do, because I'm in Finder, I could double click this and it would open up Word on my computer and I could edit it. But watch this. If I am um, here, I'm going to make a quick copy. OK, Command C, V. I held Command on your Windows just so you can hold Control and then just hit C with your first finger and then keep holding Control or Command and hit V. So just go hold Command C, V and it makes a copy. So now I'm going to right click and then open with Google Drive. All right, I know this is a lot of info for you guys, but try to take away a few main bullet points and we can all, you can always ask me questions. So what I just did is I opened up that folder that I was already in in my finder on my computer in Google Drive. See how I'm in Google Chrome now? And so I'm looking for this file, grow healthy copy. So things are filtered by the name. So grow healthy copy, see this? So. If I double click this, it's a Word file because that's what docx is. See that docx is Word. See how it messes it up? Yeah. Mm. See how it all is butchered? Most of this looks actually pretty, pretty good, but see how this is like wrong? So yeah. a, lot, a lot of the guys mess this up and I tell them over and over and they still do it. <laughs> so Angel, tell them to do, tell them not to do this. Thanks. <laughs> Um, Ryan, I'm trying. Yeah, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna move this to trash, okay, on my Google Chrome because I don't want. I'm just making sure that's the right one. I'm always double checking. Yeah. So, does that make sense? So, don't open Word files in Google Chrome. That is the point of your file stream. I'm in file stream right now. What do you guys think? Helpful? Yeah. Just I just got to dive into it. Yeah, I know. So, I know this is kind of like, you, know. you have to be like, oh, you're like, I'm expanding your, your minds a little bit as far as the tech stuff. So it's going to, it's going to take some time to like fully, like this took me decades. Like I had my first Mac when I was 12 and I'm like, I, I have no idea what's going on here. Like I didn't get it. Like I, I look back at the thoughts that I was having, like using my Mac, like at 14 years old, I'm like, even at 17, 18, 19, I'm like, I had, I didn't even know that there was all these like cool things, you know, that I've had to just kind of learn over the years. But that's my mission in life is to bring the details to, to guys like you. <laughs> so anyway, this kind of stuff will save you years. Any questions so far? This is exactly what my issue was, is that I know that in Google admin or good Google workspace admin, I know that you can add an alias to an email account, mm -hmm. but I don't know how that alias, I don't know how to set it up so that that alias will send to multiple emails. Like right now I have my subs at snyderconstruction.us sending to my estimator. But it, the problem is, is that he's trying to figure out stuff with email, which is just a disaster at this yeah. point. But 
um, I need it to send to me and my project manager too, so that we can kind of keep him, you know, on the up and up with the email stuff. Go into admin.google.com, sign in mm -hmm. with your company email address and go to directory groups. Okay. Create, create a group and call it whatever you want. Like all J Lane staff. This says okay. members one, but I have an option there. That's anyone that's added or whatever, just all always goes. This is an all at jlane.com. If I want to email my whole company, all at jlane.com. <laughs> C-suite, estimating. So let's go to sales. Where's sales? Right here. So we're just talking about sales. Um, I have to click in here. So I click here and I and I go to members and I just click anywhere in this white space and I can see the and I can see the members. I can just add a member. Mm. And that and that'll change your whole life because this is how you streamline your whole company. This is man, this is good stuff. <laughs> that is perfect. Mm -hmm. So then you can Shit. you just use these things for everything in, in your whole life for your company. We've been playing around. We have leadership. We have superintendents. We have. I used to do like stupid house flips and not anymore, but I was like, just, let's just make deals. And I had like me, Aaron and Jeremy, and it was a mess, but anyway, permits app. So we go in our building department, like login and the notification email. Cause you can only have one is permits app. <laughs> yeah. You guys can't, you guys can't tell he gets all excited about this stuff. Can you? <laughs> <laughs> I love this. This is like my whole life, man. <laughs> I love it. This is this is why he's so amazing at this stuff. You're you're, you're letting your your wild horse out, Jason. Yeah, <laughs> you <know>? yeah. <laughs> I love it. I'm like I'm like a stallion with this stuff. He is, and he's good at it. So. <laughs> you, know, you know the pie baker, the pie baker, and the e myth. Yeah, Sarah's Sarah's pies. Yeah, Sarah's pie. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where she's. She's saying that her entrepreneurial spirit is like a black wild horse or something. <laughs> I love it, man. So, it like so Ronnie, what are you going to do this week to which? The, okay. We just tackled a ton of crap today, which is tech, which, you know, might not be everyone's specialty. We're not software developers here. We're contractors, right? But maybe what's one thing that you're going to do? One thing I'm going to do is the, I mean, think about the permitting. Uh, to where it goes to, because right now everything comes to me. I've got to forward it to Courtney or to Tanya or whoever in my office. <laughs> you're crazy. Yeah, you're, like, I'm just like, I'm just like, duh. Yeah. Like, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why, why create extra work for yourself? Yeah. And that's for everything across the whole company. Right, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I've already started the estimating, the, the invoices and all that stuff. Uh, so that's, that's working really well. So good. Yeah. Uh, Health insurance. C-suite, yeah. you don't have a C-suite yet, but you will. Right. That's where we're going to get you. Project managers, I don't know why. That's stupid. Sales app, though, that, that's a big one. Yeah. Put that on your one. website. Hey, sales app. KirschmanConstruction.com or whatever it is. Yeah. So, what else? This is good stuff. I mean, I think... I don't want to keep overloading you guys with <clears throat> with info, but <clears throat> I'm not even sure if next week we need to do a Google admin thing. I, I mean, I pretty much just just go to groups and start there and just make your groups. Admin.google.com. Write that down. <clears throat> and just sign in with your, you know, your Google account for the company. Don't pick the wrong one. You know, <laughs> don't pick your personal one. Yeah. So recap, keep all your personal files in your personal Google Drive. If you don't have one, go create one. Don't use your personal Google Drive for business stuff. Same with checking accounts for your bank, right? It's the same concept, just there's a line. Well, I was just gonna reiterate. So <clears throat> if we're in that PM process for you guys and I've been stressing the handover and how important it is to have all the documents in the folders, now you see all the folders that I'm talking about having all the applicable documents and that project manager shouldn't have to look for anything because it's all labeled out for you 100%. And so now you have a visual of that to be able to tell how the importance of that and then, you know, how we get everything in the folders. Yeah, and you guys so. can do whatever you want. Don't just mimic yeah. me totally. I mean, use it as yeah. a diamond. <clears throat> I feel like I'm in a good position because like I said, I feel like I'm starting over 
the whole business <laughs> because I just did it as a mom and pop. I've tried handling everything and now getting these processes and being able to learn them from the beginning and building it out. It, it's going to be easier to do it that way than having my own system that we've tried to work and just didn't work mm. and trying to convert everything. I'm just going to be starting off fresh and yeah, learning the whole system from A to A to Z and yeah. just plug and play. And everything. Did, you, oh did you know that Brian lives in such a small town that they don't even have to have permit? I'm, I'm going through the whole process with him the other day. And he's like, we don't <laughs> have permits or inspectors. <laughs> wow. I think it's, wow. it's insane here. I, I was like, <laughs> wow. oh, you just threw a wrench in my process. <laughs> I, call, I call subcontractors and they're like, well, what's the permitting process? I'm like, there's not any. <laughs> it's amazing, but Jeez. I've worked I in I thought it was kind of funny. I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, That's crazy. I came from a, at one point, I was working for Lennar Homes down in around Melbourne, Florida, and the inspection process is down here. There was like, shoot. About 15 or 20 that we had to go through and just like uh, come here and it's everybody's like what and just like angels like what are you talking about no inspections it's like <laughs> that's why there's a lot of work here because there's been a lot of shady stuff that's been done on these homes and it's it's sad to see mm. i mean people have paid good money for what they thought was good work and it's not mm. Mm. <clears throat> well cool guys um i think this was a good yeah. one uh i feel like Maybe some of you are a little bit overwhelmed with the tech data, but remember, we're here to help. If you have questions, you can, I mean, Angel gets this stuff. I get it like on a really deep level. So yep. you can always ask me. So maybe maybe next week we'll, we'll hit the software. Obviously no, no promises, but at least a little sneak peek. I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that we can do that next week. That'd be really cool. All right, guys. Well, all right. I guess that's it. <laughs> we'll be looking forward to seeing the new software next week. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good day, everybody. Appreciate y'all. All right. Y all. All right. Take care. See you later. Hey.